Gran Turismo 7. Let's get on with it. Welcome back, friends, to the cafe. Hopefully you're doing well. We're going to carry on with our progression through this game. I'm so ready. Uh, for this menu, you'll be entering a championship. The high speed ring track day is now available on the world circuit. So let's go sign up. Uh, you have to do more than finish the race though. I want to see you in the top three. Good. Oh God. How will they put so much detail? It's a racing game. It looks, it looks better than most non-racing games. And they put the details in the rocks more so than... Give me that Civic, baby. Championship, high speed, ring, track day. All right, we're going to click on it. I thought it was going to jump straight into it. But it's fine. Championship consists of two or more races. Final standing will be determined by the total number of points. So it's got a new section at the bottom there, which is for the championship specifically. I kind of want to enter with the fit again, but we do have some other cars to try out. Let's not be boring and let's try the Aqua. Two races in this. Let's go with race number one. I'm so ready. Let's give it a go. I, I've, got, I've got to be saying, guys, like, I've been so, so enjoying how this plays out. Like, ridiculously enjoying it. Probably one of my already favorite racing games of all time. Just because we're properly starting in a, in a, in a little hatchback trio. Oh, what a horribly... <laughs> Sorry, Toyota. I know. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a... It's a toy... Oh, we got no gears. It's, it's, uh, it's one of them. Basically a Prius is what I'm saying. Oh, we got some more Gran Turismo drivers. That's pretty sick. Already mashing it, mate. J I've just realized as well, because we are in a car with one gear, it's telling us that we need to shift down to drive. <laughs> I think that's really sick. I have, I have genuinely no idea what I'm supposed to... Sense of speed! Civic type R. This is so odd, this car. This thing should not be racing. <laughs> it should not be racing at the slightest. When I go for it... Listen. Listen to the gearing. Listen. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Fraga. No, 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 no. Stay, stay. I will push you off the road. I will push you. Let's go. Oh, he's wing mirrors in my car. I don't like this Aqua. I, it's... It's... it's the worst car of the three, for sure. Off and woo. It's literally a Hoover. <laughs> I kind of want to actually turn the traction control off with this car. I think maybe that'll loosen it up a little bit. I think that's what it is. Here we go. Let's pull out. Yeah, that was part of the problem for sure. Just keep going. Yes. I was going to say, is that the wipers I can see from the hood view? Is that, is that actually a roof view on this car? <laughs> I, think, I think it is. Get me out of this thing. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I just realized we we can't we can't change car. Anyway, Pants is up to first. We beat all those Gran Turismo boys. Looks like uh, I'm actually pretty good at Hey, maybe I should be on the next thingy. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what do I do? Do I press Fraga? Uh, my name's Igor Fraga. Born in Japan. Oh, I didn't know that. You won the Gran Turismo World Tour in 2018. A big fan of compact Japanese cars. I plan to compete in this Civic. That's pretty cool. Race number two. Let's get it done like it's nada. Because uh, I really want to. Because I read that we have to drive this thing again. Am I already gaining on him? Even though I'm turning the extraction off straight away. I'm rolling. <laughs> <laughs> the noise this makes. It makes me want to cry. I do not like it at all. Let me shift. Can I shift down? I can't do anything. Going around the bend. Can I get it to understeer? Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. Another Mazda Demi. I love this. I can't see very well. Like, you can still kind of see, but like not, not too much. Break. Oh. My mistake. I really, I really, I just want to bin it. I want to build my collection, but at the same time, this thing needs to go in the bin. Goodbye. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. This thing just makes me sad, man. It, 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 uh, it could have been so cool. Could have banged out the gears. Could have been as cool as the others. But no. It's an economy car. Shh. Shh. <laughs> it's got the splashy when you go into puddles. <laughs> what a horrible little car. Across the line. Write it off. Yes. Damage. Damage this behemoth. That's it. We have won the championship. 10,500 for winning it. Beautiful. Smashed it. Easy. Does it.
Oh. Oh, I completely forgot we've got these roulette tickets. You were number one overall. And look, oh, 15 grand extra. Piling that money up. Yo, what the? What? Oh, no. Oh, oh God, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't, you can't. I wish it like showed me which one. Go for that one. No. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Can I do a redo? Can I like... Can I like force quit? <laughs> Can I? Oh, great. Great, great, great. They really just, yeah, they want me to cry. The same rate, did I or did I not say that I don't want any given cars? Uh, so at any rate, surely I should be happy with getting the low ball. Back to the cafe, there we go. Have a look at our new complete collection. There you go, look at that. That trophy, I wish I could have that physical model. It wouldn't be cool if you could like 3D print them out. Grand Central is now open for business. 21st century production car. Be sure to stop by. You already know. sakuba has been unlocked. Suzuka, Grand Central, and Japanese FF sports cars for the next menu. Let's have a quick look at that. So, oh, we got the Swift. Oh, we get the others anyway. You know, I was kind of worried there. <laughs> could you just like buy them maybe to progress as well? That would be super, super interesting. But there you go. Brand Central is now open. You already know I'm going to jump straight into Brand Central. This is where you purchase the new car. So the used car dealership is a bit different to this place. Brand Central for GT. Brand Central offers new cars from around the world produced after 2001. 50 brands of cars. Some brands also have had their own museums. I'm re genuinely really interested in that because as I mentioned in the previous video, it's actually super cool to be able to look back at these cars. Martin. Oh, that's a beautiful name for a, like a dealer man. Oh, he's my advisor. You wish to know more about a car? I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you so much. So we got Michelin BBS Brembo. Let's, let's click on one of these. Go on BBS. Oh, it actually has... Oh, that's cool. You've got some information about BBS. I love that they do that. I've never paid attention to it on sport, if I'm totally honest with you. I never even look. But after learning a little basic bit and like only be giving a really simple part of the whole picture when it comes to the information of these cars on the cafe, it kind of interests me more. Like it tells you what you need to know. All right, let's jump to America. So we've got Ford, DMC. Let's go on DMC. There's a oh my goodness. What a beast. That's 500,000 to buy. I think we'll be a while there. In the Ford showroom, we've got, oh, the Focus ST and the Focus RS. Dale's gonna love that. <laughs> My friend Dale's gonna love that. Got the Shelby's. Look how quick the cars load. That's so good. On Dodge, we have, oh, there, it's a safety car. I genuinely thought this was gonna be a cop car. 100,000 for that one, we can almost buy it. Interesting. There's a pretty big challenger boy missing. Tesla. Let's have a quick look at Tesla. This is going to be me looking at around. Oh, so you've got the Tesla Model S signature. I just want to have a look at some of the cars they've got. I don't actually know all the cars that are available. I kind of ignore those, those videos that kind of pinpoint exactly what cars there are. Of course, on Lamborghini, they're going to have some incredible cars. We've got the Huracan. We've got the LP640, Aventador, Aventador SV, and the, the... What? I always get surprised by the Vision GT cars. Probably already driven them. Oh, God, it's got A-Class. <laughs> SLS, but doesn't it look weird? I don't know about you guys, but it kind of looks odd to see this car in a game. I really don't understand why. Anyway, I will have a video posted on my second channel. It's going through all the cars. So if you want to check that out, make sure you do. I'll link that below in the description, just in case you want to see it. So if I jump to the tuning shop again quickly, I just want to know, how do we get to this? So I think it's a little too soon to be looking at this section of parts. I'll sell them to you once your collector level is high enough, but let's see you gain more experience first. That makes sense. So to, to, to upgrade the cars, we have to build up our collection even more so. I guess we'll jump into this Japanese FF sports car collection. Yep. Uh, in the FF cars, the engine sits at the front and it's front wheel drive. That makes sense good sense my friend let's get it done it's actually going to show the cars on these little intros here no it's showing my car <laughs> not quite uh, what i would want this one's in suzuka third place or higher gets us beautiful that's what i wanted so you can actually use any of these i'm actually gonna use the swift because that will be much better than what we have really disappointed by that toyota that we had really really disappointed okay come on let's go let's go let's go so funky so so funky all right let's get it Oh, this is so much better. So much better. We actually have gears. Give me that Demio. You're in the way, sire. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. I'm nice and clean. Come on. <laughs> yeah, boy. Prius. Bin. On the power aggressively. Front wheel drive. 
Use that understeerability. We're definitely speeding up. Oh, the course is just getting tighter. No, this car's faster, for sure. Swift. Swiftly. Get Oh, <laughs> too soon. <laughs> up into P3. There's the type R that I'm dying to get. Let's go, big boy. Yellow on yellow. I drive so much worse in this view. <laughs> Integra. That's an... Uh, it's just another... We got the worst of the trio. We got the worst of the bunch. I can't believe they've done this. Where's his brakes? Where's his brakes? Where's his brakes? There. Let's go, big boy. He's still tapping. No worries, baby. Just uh, if you move a little bit. That's man can make it nice and easy for you. I'm trying to be clean, man, but I can't for so long. After a while, I'm just like, nah. Bro, that's on you. There he goes in the rear view. <laughs> Sucker! Beautiful. I want to drive that Type R right now. That's part one done. That race was actually close. See what I mean? Like, I kind of think I'm a, a good difficulty. There she is, the Type R. So much better. I wish it was in the yellow. We, we just paint it. We just paint it. Now, because it's not a championship, we can just jump straight in. So the car we actually want to use. Change car. I mean, that Type R. Oh, oh come on. Uh, uh, there we go. Integra is all that's left. I'm ready, baby. <laughs> now, this is a car. This is much better. Let's just instantly take the traction off. I'm really curious. We can just ring this thing out. Ah, oh, come on. What's that rev limiter? Give me a proper one. We gotta upgrade it a little bit, obviously. Let's go, big boy. Nice, nice, nice. What a machine! <laughs> Mince meat, everyone in the bin. This is the car I'm most excited to like. Just slap an exhaust on and properly churn out the miles. We are a threesome until I put my foot down and you can't do it. <laughs> Let's go, Integra. Munch, munch, munch. Goodbye. You out. The noises this car makes. So nice. In the tunnel. <laughs> what a race. I love this car. And I'm going to love the Integra as well. Building the collection. Easy peasy. We're over 100,000 now in credits. Hello, beautiful. Mm -mm. Honda Integra Type R. Oh, come on. What, what, like, close. I can think of a good way to uh, level us up quicker with the collection. We do still have those tickets, the tokens to use. I'm a bit wary about them, to be totally honest with you, but we'll see. Click this one. Here we go. It's a one star. It's gonna be money, money. Is that a Genesis? We've got some upgrades to go on as well. It's it's so Forza, man. It's so Forza. It's the monies. We get what? Three grand? Five grand. You know, I kind of want the car collection just for the sake of upping my level a little bit. Okay. Give me that Toyota truck. Also, don't. I'm conflicted. Give me the little money. We'll take the we'll take that money. It's another five grand, isn't it? It is. Thank you. So, considering we have that much money then, let's jump into the used car dealership. Pleased to hear you. We've got some new cars in stock. Oh, that says sold out. We can actually buy a new one of these cars. Now, we have no purpose in buying it. Oh, are you kidding me? That Sylvia's got... The Sky... There was a Skyline for 75. There's a Supra for 100,000 with limited stock. Oh, my goodness. Do I spend all my money on the Supra? I really want to buy... We're buying a Supra. I'm buying the Supra. Go, 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 go. Purchase. I feel like I'm in a race to, to buy it. The, 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 all the others were like gone. We've bought a Supra. Give me my car collection points. Boop, level up. You can now access club sports section of the tuning shop. Beautiful. I'm I knew something like that was gonna, I knew it was gonna happen. Here we go. I see that you upgraded your car collection. From now on, I can sell you club parts. I've got power restrictions and ballast for lowering your PP. They're sure useful. Let's have a look at club level upgrades. So yeah, we've got dirt tires, ballasts, uh, we've got bore up. It's pretty sweet. We've got one day, one way and two way LSDs, stage two weight reduction, power restrictors. Mate, there's loads of, loads of like restricting parts. Get me into semi racing, please. Just because I want to see 300 horsepower in the soup. I'm going to jump to the tuning shop with it and see what we've got. So it seems like it's all pretty similar for every vehicle here. We do, however, have no money anymore. But we've completed this collection, so we should have a look at this beautiful, nice picture. All three cars completes the collection. Once you've completed uh, collected rewards, I've got some more stories to tell you about these cars. We got another ticket! <laughs> because these jobs are done by the front wheels, taking corner cleanly requires... Tra Mate, you can just, just power down. Power down. It's stuck to the road. I drive a Mini Cooper. I know what it's like. Okay, 
right, but these are different things. Honda has produced a lot of FF vehicles. Mate, there's so many, and Honda is loved crazy amounts. Remains very popular to this day. It's insanely popular to this day. The Swift, honestly, the Swift is really popular in the UK. It's like a first car, actually. Pretty cool. So next up, we have Tune, a classic car. Yes, Tune a Mini Cooper. Uh, I don't have a Mini Cooper. Why not tune your Mini Cooper S? Oh, the old Mini Cooper S. So I have a PP at least 360. Sports tires are supposed to have a huge impact. Nice. Well, hopefully we can spend very little money because I have very little money. In fact, let's see if we still have very little money. <gasps> G give me the Mazda. Give me the Mazda. Do I need to like, can I press it on like, like, like on Pokemon where you, we got an upgrade. It's for the 86. Recommended retail price is 13 grand. Interesting. So it's specific to cars. Like it's not like for the car you're in or a car you have. It's just random. <laughs> right. We need to get this up to 360. We're at 250. I think we can do that. So we're just going to straight away throw on tires. That's easy, right? If I throw on Sports Soft, what's that make it? 330? Bang it on. Yes, please. Sports Silencer. So Sports Exhaust. Only a little bit, but I want to do it anyway. Let's go. Okay. If we go over to this category, we've got the clutches, LSDs. These are more expensive. What if we bore the... <gasps> Mate, that's going to make it... What? We need more power. Focus, Leo. I think what I'm going to do is stick with the cheaper end stuff. I don't think it particularly needs much of these. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're going to have no money in a minute. I'm scared. Put that suspension in. We're done. Completed. Nice work. You did exactly what was required. Pretty risky. <laughs> a world circuit track has been made available. Another one. Oh, that was, that was, hello, Chris. So a newer Mini Cooper, a newer Abarth, and a Polo. That's like the cars of today that everyone kind of still drive. In fact, yeah, they are. <laughs> Everyone's like first car in the UK right now is one of these, maybe a Fiat 500. European hot hatches. Lots of neat little hot hatches over over the years. So you're going to be racing the Mini Tune to 360pp or more. Target the race at Brands Hatch. Once you've collected all three cars, come back and see me. I'm going to use this car. I built this Mini Cooper. We should have driven it before, but clearly... We didn't. We didn't try it standard, so <laughs> fine. Oh, it's at night. Let's have some proper Mini Cooper hours. Fun fact for you guys, I've sat in a few of these, and I actually fit better in these classic minis than I do in the new F56 Mini JCW that I do own. Oh my god, look at the shake of this thing. This thing's suspension is so much sportier than the other cars we've been driving. I feel like it's letting me just throw it. Look at the TT. Oh my God, the shadows. Did you, oh, focus, focus, focus. Power on. <laughs> the good thing about progression, just adjusting the traction control there. The good thing about the progression in this game is that the fact that you actually get to experience what it's like starting with something like this. I mean, like the others, and then upgrading and you get to feel the difference. That's what this is all about. Look at the suspension. <laughs> get your stupid golf out the way. Move, buddy. Up on the inside, on the grass. Don't even matter. The French boys are up ahead. No, 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 no. This is not accurate. <laughs> no, 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 no. We can't have that. Let's go. Let's go, McGann. Goodbye. <laughs> this thing's so forgiving. Look at that. What? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, bro. So, so forgiving. Yeah, I think the difficulty is where it should be. Second place. Very, very cool. Let's go. 6,000 for that. Thank you very much. I need the money again. Someone thought it would be a good idea to get a Supra. Get the Abarth. Up to the Abarth. This time, I don't know, it doesn't feel as peppy, but the, the boost noises and stuff in this cabin are super, super sick. I'm actually really excited to drive the Polo GTI. That's probably like of the bunch in my head, the, the ones I want to try the most. And the bath, you can't, you can't deny, they do make a good little noise. Interestingly, I, I, I mean, I, I'm interested to see if it does make like a difference with the sound when you install an exhaust. I'm off. <laughs> I deserved it. Time to lock in that podium. We've got a... <laughs> A two on this corner. Where is it coming up? Thank you for that little tap there, my friend. And brake is here. I've been early on the brakes, actually. I was just being prepared. Normally, that's not the case. Come on! I'm going into the back of him. I did absolutely... I apologize. Now? <gasps> oh, mega heavy on the brakes. But it paid off. 
It paid off. I'm ahead. Stunning. I've let go of the wheel. Watch this. It's so stable. Don't even matter. Polo GTI. Let's go. Better than the Golf GTI. Don't play. Kind of bugs me that they're giving us new GTI, newer bar. But like, oh, we get semi racing section. The teacher, beautiful. But we get for the mini, the old one, the the last gen. I don't want the last gen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Polo GTI. Let's see how you get down. Turn off that traction control. I don't think we'll need it, especially in these front wheel drive boys. Just give me the power, baby. Let's see how this thing drives. I've never driven a Polo. Actually, never. Driven golfs, so never, never a Polo. Polo's like the baby version, isn't it? But in recent times, I think the design of this is better. Probably more so the fact that the, the Golf has got so big to the point where I love the Op GTI. It's like my favorite Volkswagen as of right now, still probably. Like, that's what I'm thinking. And what I've, I think I read when I was looking at Golf R's, because we were looking at a hatchback for Meadow when, uh, when well, we got the Mini, obviously. I was looking at Golf R's, and what I learned is this and the Focus RS and a few other, they almost have a thing, like the fake noise that they have. They apparently vibrate the window screen. That's a pretty common thing, I think, on hatchbacks, to vibrate the window screen or something that vibrates against it. Whatever. That, that's the noise maker. That's what they went with. And to be honest with you, it's better than the alternative which is what's in the cars that I've driven and owned, like the Supra, where it does a fake noise. That's worse than a bad fake noise of a video game. Never understood that. Yeah, this thing's better than the Abarth, don't care. Abarth's cool, but this Polo GTI is better. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. It's just, it's just sick, mate. I love it. <laughs> just squealing. She's just squealing. She's not ready. Definitely, definitely feels so much cooler to drive a hatchback with that hood view and the bonnet view, 100%. Third person? I don't know, it's not, it's not as wicked. This has got to be one of my favorite cars I've driven so far in this game. So far. Stunning. Normally not even a Volkswagen person. There's something about it. I give me the Mini Cooper and disappoint me that it's not the, at least a 20, what, the, the new ones are, is that what I mean? The tw it was 2014 for the Polo, 09 for the Abarth. The Abarth hasn't really changed since then, let's be real. And the Mini Cooper S and 05? Come on, like, I think 2012, 2013 is when they changed. Come on! Before we go back to the cafe, let's have a look at semi-racing parts. So semi-racing, we've got a low RPM turbocharger, a high RPM or medium, so you can adjust. We've got the supercharger, we've got sports intercoolers, body rigidity upgrades. Very epic. Semi-racing? What does it even mean? Back to the cafe. This just, it looks wrong. This image is wrong. Not acceptable. Three cars, hot hatch collection. You've got some stories to tell me about. Scapes has been unlocked. GT Auto. GT Auto. We've unlocked GT Auto. Yes. That's the main thing I've been gunning for, for the term. Doesn't the mini just look out of place? <laughs> it doesn't look right. This is, just, this is just wrong. Refers to hatchback with a powerful engine and sporty suspension. The Golf GTI, first generation. Oh, they have it. I was going to say, do they actually have it? I'm glad they have it and not just like talking about it. The original GTI, Mini Cooper, they've got this one. These are so popular, like so popular because they're so cheap. <laughs> I always hated how the, the, on that generation, the speeder was in the, in the middle of the dash and the rev counter was in the... I don't need to see the rev counter. I mean, I guess if you're tracking it, but let's be real. It was, it, most of them were like diesel. All right, what's this next? Uh, visit maintenance servicing at GT Auto. This is what I've been waiting for, for like this current one. Slowly unlocking stuff is really like, it's good because it gives you time to like really figure out everything. So GT Auto was in previous games, but this is, uh, we're giving it a wash. Mate, give him a race car a wash. Huh? What you saying? There she is. There's Scapes. Pretty cool. And GT Auto. Have we not actually unlocked everything yet? Because there's, yeah, there's the, like the classic car place over there. There's that building there. I don't know what that is. And there's a tent over there. I don't know if we what that is. We've still got stuff to do. But this is GT Auto. Maintenance and servicing, customization parts, and driving gear. So let's start off with driving gear. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Customize the exterior of your car. This is the place to go. You already know I'm excited for that. Look at this. Oh, I'm so ready. Three floors that have different uh, services and products. A lot of exciting custom parts to offer the car enthusiast. Hope you enjoy some time here at GT Auto. So this is where we change the helmet and the race suit as such. Pretty cool. We don't have any. <laughs> Maintenance and servicing. Install wide body kits. Drive your car too long. A performance will drop. So remember to... Oh, I love that. You can wash the car. Change the oil. Engine overhaul. Restore, uh, restore rigidity. That's expensive. 
and a wide butt. What's the wide body? Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a wide body for the po- What the hell? <laughs> Why is there a wide body for the- What the- <laughs> I was like, it's not gonna have a wide body. Uh, it does. It's a polar- Why? Why? Why not? Oh my god, it's vibrating the controller. That's so weird. It like felt as if he was- that's really clean. So for those who don't know, oil changes, super important in Gran Turismo. Overhauling your engine, very important. And it tells you the condition below. So you don't have to worry too much. But this, this is what I'm most excited for personally. I mean, the wide bodies too, obviously. But the wide body Polo GTI. On this floor, you can customize cars according to your own style. Beautiful. Let's see what we can do with the Polo GTI. Because that is... For the yobs, very, very vital car to be customizing. So we've got wheels we can do, of course. We already... Wheels are pretty self-explanatory. We've got spoon sports wheels. Oh, those are... Those look kind of good. Oh, I didn't even mean to. Of course, we've got the livery editor. We've got other, which is... What? Mate! This game was made for me. And it's not even, like, nasty bulbs either. It's like... It's like proper bulbs. Like blinding boys, cool boys. I'm, mate, that's so good. And number plates. <gasps> we can change the style. Come on. We've got custom parts, which is front, side, and wing on this car. So if you go to front. Oh, we've got little lips. We've got like Forza Aero. <laughs> Except it's not Forza, it's Gran Turismo. That's going to be like, GT Aero. That's going to be odd to say. So that cleans it up a little bit. Wingless, option A. <gasps> yes! We installed a wang onto the Polo GTI. I'm actually going to do the full kit. That is nice. I am happy with that. Look at that little Polo GTI. Of course, we can do paint colors as well. So if we want to change it up. Oh, I'm so happy with this. We got a matte fluorescent. Oh my God. That, wait, this is just the types of colors. You are joking me. Let's put some rays on there. 2000. We can actually increase the size of them or decrease. I personally think decrease these need to be 16s install am i ever going to use this car again i don't know <laughs> so i'm saving the style don't quite know what it does yet but maybe i can oh i can share it the parts and everything yo <laughs> all right that's gran turismo for today hopefully you did enjoy i i'm loving this game man i'm loving this game and we still haven't unlocked everything yet this is how you do progression we're still in cars like this and we have 30 grand to our name this I'm going to be playing for a while. So please, if you do enjoy, smash like, keep tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Peace.